Turtle and Tortoise are not friends. Written by Mike Reese, illustrated by Ashley Spires. There is a place far, far away. And in that place, two eggs found themselves in the same pins. Hello, hello, hello. A turtle popped out of one egg. A tortoise popped out of the other. What fun we'll have together, said the turtle. We shall be best friends, said the tortoise. People will call us the terrible turtle twins. Oh, but I'm not a turtle, said the tortoise, not quite so warmly. I'm a tortoise. A turtle is a horrid beast with rot skin and a hard shell, while I am an handsome creature with a hard shell and rough skin. Oh, I understand, said the turtle, even though he didn't. I guess we can't be friends. It just won't make sense, said the tortoise. And so the turtle and the tortoise walked to opposite sides of the pen. Just then, the zookeeper came by with a group of school children. In the air, we have a turtle and a tortoise. They can live to be 100 years old. Good heavens, goodness gracious. Over the next 14 years, the turtle and tortoise had many interesting adventures, but each refused to tell the other about them. The turtle found a worm that looked just like Winston Churchill. Huh? Whoa. He ate it. The tortoise was carried off by an eagle. Oh, help me, help me. Well, then another eagle carried him right back. Whoa! They went through some terrible winters and some wonderful New Year's Eves, but not even that could bring the turtle and the tortoise together. One day, something truly exciting happened. A big red ball bounced over the wall and landed right in the center of the pen. It's mine! Not if I get there first. And the two creatures raced as fast as they could toward the ball. Oh, I'm almost there. Oh. The turtle got there first. Seven years later. Oh, okay, I never thought I was going to care. Oh. Once he had the ball, the turtle did not know what to do with it. He sniffed it. <laughs> then he chewed it. It tasted horrible. Ugh, that's disgusting. Finally, he climbed on top of the ball. I'm the king of the zoo, he cried. Well, then the ball rolled over and the turtle landed on his back. Uh-oh, this is bad. He waved his little arms and legs, but he couldn't turn over. Two years later, the tortoise reached the center of the pin. Well, well, well said the tortoise. It seems a ball is mine. He climbed on top and the ball rolled over and they both, the both of them, they were stuck on their backs. Well, this is a peculiar situation. The turtle and the tortoise lay helpless on their backs through snow and wind and rain for the next 17 years. During all that time, they only spoke six words to each other. I'm rather mad at you. Oh, ditto. One day, the new zookeeper, the son of the old zookeeper, came by with a group of school children. Look at these two groovy chums out sunning themselves. We got one a tortoise and one a turtle, but in fact, all tortoises are turtles. Good heavens, Elka Gracious. You know, oh boy, I bet if we were together, we could uh, flip ourselves over. Hmm, let me think about it. Let me see. Oh. Six years later, he reached a decision. Let's try it. 
The turtle and the tortoise locked hands and rocked back and forth and back and forth. I think we almost got it. Keep going, keep going. Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh! And quicker than you can read the entire Oxford English Dictionary, A to Z, 23 times, they were back on their feet. Ah, oh, thanks. I don't mention it, really. Did I ever tell you about my trip with an eagle? No. Did I ever tell you about this ugly worm I once ate? No, you must. Why don't you come over to my side of the bin for some lettuce? All right, that sounds lovely. For the first time in the, their long, long lives, the turtle and the tortoise walked off together and they became fast friends. But you should know, I don't move as quickly as I used to. Oh, buddy, I don't either. It's all right. The end.